Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Since the U.S. Air Force began, great dedication has been given to developing new aircraft with cutting-edge technology, usually driven by global events occurring at the time, such as conflicts like World War II or the Cold War. Even after these events, more developments emerged, such as the B-2 Spirit, a multi-role stealth bomber capable of delivering both nuclear and conventional munitions. Northrop Grumman led its development in the 80s as the advanced technology bomber and involved the work of several companies, including Boeing, Hughes Radar Systems, General Electric, and Vought Aircraft Industries unveiling the aircraft in 1988. Advances in stealth technology that emerged from a series of laboratory experiments and design studies over several decades benefited the conception of the B-2. Beginning in the 1940s and 1950s, the Northrop team developed prototypes such as the YB-47 and YB-49, demonstrating the aerodynamic and stealth benefits of the flying wing shape. Then, during the 70s, Northrop built the Tacit Blue experimental aircraft through the Stealth Aircraft Technology Program. This finally pushed forward the flying wing design to be used for the new Stealth B-2 Spirit. This aircraft revolutionized stealth operations with key features like its flying wing design, radar absorbing composite materials, and special coatings that reduce the B-2 traces. Meeting these ambitious requirements was fraught with challenges, as early government estimates doubted the viability of these goals. But Northrop achieved them through relentless innovation. Engineers created specialized machines and tools to measure radar cross-section and confirm the aircraft met its stealth criteria. They approached testing iteratively, continuously validating systems against design criteria and making necessary adjustments. This eventually resulted in the construction of the B-2 and laid the groundwork for future stealth aircraft. The Spirit's flying wing design means it has no defined tail or fuselage, making it shorter than other aircraft. However, the B-2 is characterized by having a wide wingspan of 172 feet, which influences the hangars in which it's stored since these locations tend to be designed exclusively for the B-2 or aircraft with similar dimensions. Typically, the hangars are 200 feet wide or more to ensure unobstructed access to the aircraft's edges and can maintain a controlled environment if there is a sensible technology installed in the aircraft. This location is where most pre-flight procedures are followed when a mission is about to start. First, the pilots must attend a mission briefing where they review the mission objectives, as well as the weather conditions and the equipment they will use. Well, so they're gonna be the same new ones, but they put a vent on them. We done one last yeah. year. It is getting combined in the two. Meanwhile, the maintenance squadron located in the hangar is responsible for loading the ammunition using advanced tools that speed up the process and reduce the risks of failure. Once the ammunition is ready, other squadron members carry out checks on the plane, 
alongside the pilots who follow pre-flight procedures inside the cabin. Finally, the ground crew and air traffic control start guiding the plane through the runway, where the pilots will take off. While flying, the B-2 shows why it has revolutionized stealth operations with its incredible capabilities. Considering the path that the B-2 has opened for new developments in stealth aircraft, in recent years, it has focused on the design and creation of new aircraft, which is considered the evolution of the spirit. Said plane is the B-21 Raider, part of the Stealth Bomber 6th generation family, designed to be the backbone of U.S. strategic air power for the coming decades. With innovations in materials and manufacturing techniques, the B-21 is built to evade even the most advanced anti-access aerial denial systems. Like its predecessor, the B-21 can deliver both conventional and nuclear payloads, supporting a range of munitions from standoff weapons to direct attack systems. Being shown to the public for the first time in 2022, the B-21 began its test flights in November 2023 to demonstrate all of its capabilities in different climatic conditions and executing missions. In recent decades, this explosion of innovation around stealth technology has created various designs, including the F-35 Lightning II, the latest fifth-generation fighter, designed to replace a multitude of aging fighter aircraft across various branches of the U.S. military and allied nations. The F-35 represents next-generation technologies aimed at maintaining air superiority in modern combat environments. Its development began with the Joint Strike Fighter program, whose system development and demonstration phase ensured the F-35 could obtain initial operational capability. In addition, this project has collaborated with nine countries seeking to improve their air capabilities. This collaboration has fostered interoperability among allied forces and distributed the economic and technological benefits of the program among multiple nations, enhancing global defense capabilities. An aircraft of this complexity involves equally complex manufacturing. So Lockheed Martin must use innovative processes and cutting edge technology to create this aircraft. Being a modular design, different contractors are in charge of building the various sections of the plane and then assembling them in a specialized facility. Northrop Grumman is responsible for producing the center fuselage through an integrated assembly line consisting of automated work cells optimized for precision and speed. Digital twin models are used throughout production to optimize assembly steps, ensuring accuracy and minimizing waste. Other assembly enhancements include using augmented reality projection technologies to improve precision and efficiency. This is the case with the collaboration with Projection Work Systems, which uses CAD model data and projects it directly onto physical components, guiding workers during fastener installation. With similar processes and equally advanced technology, 
The other suppliers are responsible for completing the remaining sections, with Pratt and Whitney being in charge of building the F-135 engine and BAE Systems producing the aft fuselage in the UK. Projection technology is optimally suited for aerospace because aerospace assembly operations often involve a large number of operations over a large area, often on an aircraft skin which serves as an ideal canvas for projected work instructions. The last contractor is in charge of the structural test of the CTOL airframe. This is done at the Structural and Dynamic Test Facility in the United Kingdom. BAE Systems follows this process to validate the structural strength of the airframe and determine if it can be maintained throughout its operational life. They perform fatigue tests, simulating long-term wear and tear by applying cyclical stresses in an established time frame. The resulting data of this test is used to detect potential issues, like cracks or other surface-related conditions. The same goes for the static test, which analyzes the airframe's response to peak loads and ensures that structural limits are not exceeded. Once the data is gathered and the structure is considered safe, it returns to the U.S. to complete its assembly. To complete the construction of the F-35, workers must dedicate themselves to installing the aircraft's electronic and avionic systems, including innovative technologies such as the electro-optical guidance system. Thanks to this tool, F-35 pilots can have better surveillance and guidance capabilities through a combination of laser point tracking and infrared sensors. Once the entire structure is installed and the systems integrated, the engineers proceed to continue with the different tests to verify the functionality and characteristics of the F-35. For example, at Lake and Heath Air Base, acoustic emissions tests are carried out, determining the noise levels produced by the aircraft and determining whether the shelters can accommodate the F-35A's unique engine sound, thrust, and exhaust profile. At another location, the aircraft is placed inside a climate chamber to evaluate the operation of the aircraft systems under extreme heat, cold, rain, and humidity conditions. Well, the rain and the humidity testing that we do is important for several reasons. It allows us to show that the aircraft can operate in those environments, and every test that we're going to do is representative of an environment that can be found in the world. With the functionality of the internal systems of the aircraft verified, the military forces proceed with external tests that include flight, use of weapons, and even landing. Here, we seek to test in the most difficult conditions, such as landing on snow, to determine the behavior of the wheels in this terrain and the ability of the pilots to react to this environment. Behind this type of test is also the logistics to maneuver the planes on the runway, in addition to being able to transport parts and equipment between hangars to be implemented in the F-35. The continuous emergence of new technologies and manufacturing methods to give birth to stealth aircraft has proven its great importance for air forces worldwide. The momentum these advances have had only highlights the air superiority of aircraft such as the B-2 or the F-35 and marks a clear path for the appearance of new aircraft that surpasses the current generation.
that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.